Now I'm going to program this pump to the correct rate for our patient. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the on button and it's going to load up and then you have your little blue key which I made reference when I was showing how to prime the tubing. So what you're going to need to do for that is put, tur push it in kind of the off position as like so and then you're actually going to stick it right in here which will be the key so you'll stick it right in there and it'll open this area and as you can see on the on the screen there it says number one the load set check and number two is hasn't happened yet so what you're going to do is you're going to take your tubing and it fits right in this little groove and so you're going to want to bring your fingers down and as you can see, as you're doing it correctly, it's gonna tell you so on that on the screen. You have to hit all the points, three and four, and as you can see, there's one up here, two, three, and then four. And then once you have it correctly done, it's gonna tell you to close the door. Okay, so from there, you're gonna be looking at your screen and we're gonna click training med surge. It's already on that one, so we're gonna hit the okay button. Now for the, um, it's asking us to type the first two letters of the drug name or type the first letter and press okay. So this is a prime. bag so we have to type IV so okay now it comes up with a bunch of different options so now we have to correct or select I'm sorry the correct fluid that we're going to hang so we're gonna hit the page down button and then I see it so now I'm gonna use the arrow key and then I see IV and S, which is gonna be IV normal saline, because that is what we hung on Alan Covey. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the okay. And then yes, this is our primary bag. So we're gonna hit okay. Now it's gonna, as you can see where that gray box is right here, it's gonna ask us what that rate is. So again, now we wanna make sure we have that same rate that's on our EMAR, which is 100. So I'm gonna make it 100. Then I'm going to hit OK. You need to hit OK on each one of these steps. And then this one says 1,000, and then it's VTBI milliliters, which stands for volume to be infused. So that's how much are we going to be giving this patient. So we are going to be giving them 1,000, so we don't need to adjust that. But if your order called for 500 milliliters, then you would change it for 500. OK. And then underneath it, it says time. So it's gonna be running for 10 hours. And then this last one is volume given per ml. So in, and once we get it started, it's gonna keep track of how much fluid has been given to our patient. Um, so when we do our intake and output, we're going to get it off of here. So we'll know that over the seven hours that we've been running this IV, we gave him 700 mls. And then we would clear it for the next nurse. So. Once we're there, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Um, before we can hit run, we have to do a couple things. We still have our clamp locked up here. So we're going to have to hold the tubing there, undo it to make sure it can come through. And then we also want to make sure that our um, roller clamp is in the um, on position as well. Um, if you don't and you go ahead and hit run, it's going to start and it's going to tell you downstream occlusion, which essentially means I have it clamped. So I'm going to undo my roller clamp and it's going to start to infuse and then it's going to tell you our rate right on there. And then what you want to do before you do before you leave the room is you want to just make sure you're getting those drops in that this drip chamber. And that is how you set up your IV pump.